Right now we're looking at, yep. our most recent project has been on state houses, how um, there's a problem that they're cold and unhealthy indoors. Uh, people don't use much energy, um, which is uh, a good thing, but it's quite cold and we, wa we wanted to find ways of um, helping, helping uh, improve indoor conditions. We've been looking at cost and uh, uh, benefits uh, associated with insulation and double glazing. Um, as a result of our study, um, we discovered that for retrofitting it's a better idea to work on insulating your walls and then look at adding double glazing because in frequently for most people insulating walls will be a, uh, a more f effective option. Mm -hmm. This is assuming that you've already insulated your roof and your floor mm -hmm. which is uh, very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. We hope to find a way to uh, have people be healthy and comfortable indoors without an increase in energy consumption. And we can uh, achieve that with efficient use of the available energy, efficient heaters such as wood burners, uh, in some cases heat pumps, or pellet fires. All of these can efficiently provide heat. Uh, and also capturing the heat in houses by good insulation, um, the use of double glazing where it's uh, not too expensive, and um, uh, good solar features. Efficiency sometimes uh, disguises what we want to accomplish, or what I, I think is important, which is lower energy consumption altogether. Uh, today's modern houses are certainly more efficient. They have insulation and double glazing is will soon become standard. However, simply because of their larger size, uh, today's average house, new house consented will be 193 square meters, simply this larger size means that even though they're more efficient, they use more energy. To the average state house, that with a little bit of insulation will in fact use less energy overall to heat than today's modern well insulated house. And, and the other part of our study looked at uh, improving the efficiency of the heating system so, so getting more uh, comfort from the same energy and in terms of, uh, of the fabric of the house we've been looking at different uh, insulation materials and double glazing and yeah, the effect of different insulation materials. Yeah. To, to, to help houses be warmer we need, uh, we need uh, three things. We need uh, better insulation, we need efficient heating systems, and uh, good, um, uh, taking good advantage of the solar energy that's freely available. Mm -hmm. To look at how to store the heat that is captured from the sun. But at the moment these houses just uh, are facing north, uh, you know, most of the living rooms of the state houses are facing north, so they just have some sun getting into the houses straight. So what would you use to trap heat during the daytime? Well, um, if you have a more, uh, if, if your house ha has more therm thermal mass inside, like a brick or any... Uh, brick or water or uh, concrete floors, um, all, all these can trap heat. Uh, the, idea, it, yeah. Yeah. the idea is the sunlight will fall on a, say, a, a concrete floor. If, it, if it doesn't, it's not covered by carpet, uh, the floor will heat up and then uh, keep that heat well into the evening. Mm. So it will, it will take longer to cool down. But that's not the case with the houses in, in the Neden, or most of the houses in the Neden, which cool down very quickly. when the mm. sun is gone after 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah. in winter. And in the future, our research is going to be looking at uh, all houses in New Zealand. Um, we've done some studies of houses in um, Dunedin, looking at average insulation levels and uh, energy consumption. And uh, our further research will look at the, uh, the New Zealand housing stock as a whole, and what are the best retrofit strategies so that people can be comfortable, uh, adapt to higher energy prices, and um, uh, live well into the future.